Hi everyone, welcome back to another Smart Suite training. In this session, we're going to be going through file upload. Now, file upload allows you to obviously upload files to Smart Suite, and we're going to be going through uploading Patreon images as well as covers. Okay, so. Let's pretend you're circulating to some patrons. Okay, and you can notice that my patron Ishan here has no image. Okay, I'm just going to click on the image which takes me to the patron. Double check, yep, definitely has no image available. Alright, so first step. You'll need to get an image of the patron. I luckily have one here. Okay. Double check that is correct. Yes, that looks like Ishan. I'm happy with that. And you also need to check that the name of the file matches your patron's barcode. Okay, so I can see here Ishan's barcode is Ishan. Okay, I'm going to go back to my image. I can see that the name does not match. Okay, if it does not match, then your patron image will not appear. So what I'm going to do is just edit this. So it says Ishan. Perfect. Okay, now that is ready to be uploaded. To upload your files from your main menu under catalog see file upload okay so this loads up your personal um, folder okay now everything here is what you've uploaded and only you can view that to find where you upload your patron images look for system folder on the left and click on the black arrow this will expand that folder for you. Okay, we're looking for patron pick. I just click on that, it'll load up my images. Okay, now if I want to upload an image, I have two ways of doing it. I can use the upload file button here. Okay, I can then go and find the file. And I can upload the image via that process. Okay. And when it's complete, just refresh my list. Okay. And I can see that my image is now uploaded. I can click on it to pre uh, preview the image. Yes, that's correct. That looks like Ishan. I can then double check uh, circulation and make sure it's there. The other way you can upload an image, if I just delete this. Now, if you right click, we get options, select delete. Yes, I'm sure. And it's gone. Okay. The second way you can upload images is by finding your folder with your image in it and simply clicking on the file and dragging that into your dotted box area okay and that will be uploaded again if I refresh my folder Ishan appears there again. All right now, if I jump back to my circulation page, I refresh this page. Type in Ishan again. All right, and there's my Patreon image. And that is how easy it is to upload your Patreon images. 
on. And now what I'm going to do is go through uploading a cover for any record that does not have a cover. So let's pretend that we are just searching the database and we find a record that has no cover. Okay, so I'm going to go with Finger Games. Oh, perfect, very first one doesn't have a cover. These two are DVDs, so they won't have a cover. Um, but you can follow the same process to upload covers to those as well. First of all, what I want to do is grab the ISBN of the record. I want to do a Google search. For that, jump to my images and find the cover you want to attach to it. So. What of Hunger Games? Does that match my record? Yep, the World of Hunger Games. Now what I'll do is I'll right click that. I'll save the image as. Make sure you have the ISBN in the title. So the file name should be the ISBN of the record. Right, what I'll do is I'll save that. Might even create a new folder. Look, covers. And I'll save it in there. Save. Alright. That way I know where I'm going to look for it when I'm uploading it via file upload. Okay, so now that we've got the cover and we've named it the same as the ISBN, okay, we're going to jump to our file upload under catalog, I'll upload. Again, in our system folder, black arrow, cover. Okay, and again, we can find the record here, book covers, and drag that straight in to our dotted line. Upload a success. Again, I will need to reload the folder, expand system folder, select cover, and I believe it was one, two, four. There's our cover. Okay, now if I go back to our collection, I'll search the games again. There's our record with our new cover. Right, so it's as simple as that. Um, uploading your patron images, uploading your book covers. Just need to remember, okay, that if you're uploading a patron image, the file name needs to match the patron barcode. And if you're uploading a book cover, that the ISBN needs to be the same as the file name. Okay, and that's how it links. Alright, so thank you for joining me on this short training session. Again, if you do have any questions, jump to the mailbox. Under support tickets, you can create tickets here. Okay, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.